What's up, nerds? Jay here. Uh, so, today we're going to be doing something a bit different today. Um, I initially had plans a few months back now, where I was planning to, one thing to do, maybe like a, a top 10 favorite Pokemon list. Like, you know, every Pokemon tube and YouTuber needs to do that these days. <laughs> so, uh, I was trying to get into the process of that, writing the script and all that, getting all the editing ready. But then an idea popped in my head. There's that new uh, table you can make now, where you can show every favorite Pokemon of the type in that generation. So I thought, instead of overcomplicating it, why don't I do that, and I show all of my favorite Pokemon through that way, and then we'll eventually see what my favorite Pokemon is. But again, if you know me, you know what the answer is already, but for the people who are new on the channel, hi. Uh, would you like to subscribe? And uh, without further ado, let me show you what I've got. As you can see here, we have the list here. And uh, so let's start off with Gen 1 then. Right, normal type. Ooh, okay. It's going to be a bit random, but I'm going to say Kangaskhan. Uh, I used a Kangaskhan in one of my uh, Sword and Shield playthroughs. Honestly, I was loving it. The fact it had so much coverage, so much raw power. Most of the times when I started with it using Fake Out, it already had health the first slot. <laughs> so, above all else, like, Kangas Khan is really fun to use. And I haven't even used the Mega yet. And I've been hearing horror stories about how bad that can get. The Fire type... Oh, that's a bit of a tricky one. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Charizard. Like, there's nothing wrong with Charizard. The main thing I have that's a problem with it is it's overhyped. I, I don't like it because it's overhyped. So if anything, I think I'd have to say Ninetales. The water type is just as complicated. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I think my best options would be Starmie, Gyarados, Lapras, and Vaporeon. Mainly because I've had the best experience with those four. Blastoise is mid, and Slowbro I do enjoy using, but above all else, uh, like the, the other four just outshine it really. And I do plan to use Kingler and Cloyster in the future. Uh, Tentacruel I do plan to use as well. The others are just meh at best. Maybe Kabutops, it depends. Um, I think I'm gonna start with Starmie for water. Grass? Uh, I think, uh, it, Venusaur is just too good. Like, the other grass types are good. Well, some. <coughs> Parasect. But, um, yeah, I think Venusaur just works a lot better compared to the others. The electric type. Uh, this is no competition. I'm going for Jolteon. Like, on, Jolteon is my favorite of the evolutions, and it just works all the way up into the electric type. Ice. No, this is definitely not a competition. Lapras all the way. Like, Lapras is so fun to use. It's so bulky. It's got so much coverage. I love it. Fighting. I don't know. Now, uh... I think I'm gonna have to go with Machamp. No. Machamp's close, but I think Hitmonchan. I used a Hitmonchan during my, uh... Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee run, and it was... It wasn't the star player of the run, but it was useful. Like, it had a... Drain Punch, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch. It was basically just a really good coverage option. Poison. Okay. I think I have to go with... Nidoking. Mainly... With Nidoking, it's just really useful. Like, there's no... There's no round... There's no uh, runarounds with this. It's just so useful. Like, the fact that you can get it so soon, depending on whenever the Moonstone shows up, that can help. Ground type is a bit more tricky, but I think Rhydon is some... Mainly because a little bit of foreshadowing you'll see in the future. Flying. I'm going to give this one to Aerodactyl. Like, I've used Aerodactyl a good amount as well, and it's gotten to a point where... Like, I've just enjoyed using it mainly because it's just a pterodactyl more than a Pokemon. And it's gotten to... And 
and it's gotten to the point where it's mega is just basically really really cool more for the law standards for the fact that according to the pokedex it, <laughs> it's mega is what it's supposed to look like and i thought that is such a clever concept right psychic I think this is an obvious one, but I'm going to say Alakazam. Like, it's just so iconic as well. I've never had a chance to use one properly yet, but I can't wait when that day comes. Bug. Uh, uh. I'm going to go with Butterfree for this one, but it's mainly because of how unique Butterfree is. I, I kind of have fears of using it, more for the fact that it's just so... Glass cannony. Like I know it's got power to run, but if you flick a pebble at it, it's gone. <laughs> Speaking of pebbles. Um Oh by the way, if during this I'm not gonna have any repeats, so in that regard I'm gonna put kabutops. For as I said back in the water type, I do want to use it, but it's not a major problem if I don't use it anytime soon. Most uh one option. <laughs> but yeah even if even if ghost was the even if Gengar wasn't the only option, I'd probably consider using it, because... Come on, it's it's Gengar. Like, <laughs> there's, there's no going around it with Gen 1 ghost types. Like, so many... So much fond memories of it. It's Mega, it's Gigantamax form, Ashes Gengar in the, in the anime. Altogether, it's just so much fun. Same instance for Dragonite. In the Dragon type, like... <laughs> you will eventually see, uh... That... I will aim towards the dragon type when it comes to my favorites. But recently I have had experiences with Dragonites that have basically risen Dragonite up in that roster of favorite dragon types. To a point where <laughs> it might even be in the top five. Uh, nothing really to say on the dark type. Right, steel. Magneton is the only option again. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't mind Magnezone either. We'll probably talk about it later in Gen 4. Uh, right, um, I think I'm going to go with Clefable here, mainly because it's the better looking one out of the three options. Because I don't really like Wigglytuff, and if you've seen Detective Pikachu, you know why I, I hate Mr. Mime. And I'm not the biggest thing about it, but I do really want to consider maybe using it because I've heard good things about using it. Best starter, I'm gonna say Venusaur. Best gimmick form, I have to give it to Mega Gengar. I'm sorry. <laughs> Legend, Zapdos. Overall favorite. Ooh, God. I oh it's between Lapras and Dragonite for me. Oh I gotta give it to Lapras, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dragonite. Right, on to Gen 2. Okay. I think for the normal type, I'm gonna go for Giraffe Rig. I think I've been growing more towards Giraffe Rig, mainly because of Regaraf when it got released in Scarlet and Violet. But I've just been really enjoying it, especially um, Caballero. If you know, you know. Right, Fire type. Yeah, I've got to give it to Typhlosion. Water. When it comes to the water type, I haven't really dwelled much into the Gen 2 water types apart from a handful. Politoed I've used in rain teams in VGC. Azumarill I've used one or two times in in-game playthroughs. And that's it. <laughs> so I think I've got to give it to Politoed for the good experiences it has as a good rain setter in VGC. And I can't wait to use one in the DLC. Grass type? This is going to be an odd one for people who know me, but I'm going to go for Blossom. When I went for my first run in Hargold and Soul Silver, I used a Blossom instead of a Vile Bloom, and I didn't mind it really. Like, yeah, it wasn't the strongest Grass type, but it did the job. 
And uh, electric type, I've got to give it to Ampharos. Ampharos is so fun. And the fact that it's Mega gets a dragon typing. It, uh, the extra bonus points there. Ice type, I've got to give it to Sneasel. I would give it to the Pilot Swine line, but. <laughs> Fighting type, Heracross, easy. Next. <laughs> okay, if you know me, you definitely know what I'm doing here. Crowbat next. For the people who don't know, though. My favorite animals are bats, and um, I'm sure that's not going to come into effect later. Ground type. Hmm. I f it, it's between Gligar and Steelix for me. Gligar for what it becomes, and Steelix for how cool it looks. I think... I'll give it to Gligar, and maybe I can give it Steelix Rock. Flying. Yanma. For just how, icon how iconic the look is. And fun fact, actually, my favorite insect is a dragonfly. Uh, psychic? I've got to give it to Espeon. Like, the evolutions altogether are just so good looking. And yeah, Jolteon's my favorite, but I do have favorites in the other evolutions as well. Bug. Considering there's no other bugs I haven't chosen left, I've got to go for Sizzle. I'm not saying there isn't an excuse to pick it, though, because Sizzle is so useful to use. But I think it's getting to the point where it's too... What's... Stale for me recently. I'm not saying it's not bad, though. I think that's just down to me about when I've been using it or not. Rock. Oh, sorry, yeah, Steelix goes for Steel, sorry. <laughs> Rock, uh, I I gotta give it to Tyranitar. Like, how, like, what reason would you have to not give Tyranitar the rock typing? It's just, it's the first non dragon pseudo legendary, and he uses it greatly. As, as just like how I use Politoed as a good rain setter, Tyranitar is an excellent sand setter. Although I do prefer using, um, Hippowdon usually, mainly because it's got better bulk and survivability. Ghost, there's only one option, Mischievous. I do like his design though. Dragon, yeah. I do like Kingdra, but I haven't had that much of a chance to use it because of its evolution method. Dark type, I'll go with Sneasel. I do like it. Like It's just one of those iconic designs you instantly like. Well, I like anyway. Steel, yeah, this is where I put Steelix. Fairy. I'm gonna give this to Togetic. Mainly for the fact that, um, I just like it. I mean, obviously, people like Togekiss, but like, Togetic's one of those Pokemon you just get a smile when you see. Right, um, out of usefulness, I've only used Typhlosion so far, so I think I gotta stick to my guns and just pick uh, Typhlosion. Gimmick form. Yeah, I've got to give it to Mega Ampharos, mainly for the whole dragon typing. And yeah, all those um, L'Oreal <laughs> memes are all funny, but. Alright, legendaries. i got to give it to Raikou. Oh, just a side note Raging Bolt. I kind of like it. It's on the grow on me. Favorite overall? Crobat. Genfrey. Normal typing. Hmm. Oh, this is a bit tougher than I thought it'd be. And what's that random kickly on there? <laughs> hmm. I think I'll give it to Explode. Fire. Torkoal. Same reasons as uh, Politoed and Tyranitar, frankly. <laughs> it is a really good sunset, and not like. I did have a reputation for a really good sun team. It involved Torkoal. Water. I'm sorry, I'm not an idiot. I've got to go for Swampert. And yeah, um, Sceptile all the way. Sceptile's the best. Electric. My boy Mainetric. It's Mega's awesome as well. Yes, Mainetric is just a staple for any Hoenn journey. Right, ice. Uh, 
I'm gonna go with Wolverine. Like, at the moment, I only have a Sphere when I'm playing through Colosseum XD at the moment. So I haven't seen the full potential of a Wolverine yet, but... I kind of feel iconic to the design, even though it's still quite new to me. When it comes to the idea of using it. Fighting. I'm getting this one to Hariyama. It's a weird one. But, um... I just love how fun it is to use, really. As especially for the fact of how quick it is to evolve. Poison? Ooh, this is a bit more tricky than I thought. I gotta give it to Surviper. I mean, just for the idea of... Like, I know Arbok was already a snake that was poison type, but... It's a bit of a low dumb for Jay here. <laughs> um, so, when I was... Um, watching the anime when I was a kid. It was at the Gen 4 era of the anime, and if people knew, Jessie used her Surviper during Generation 4's anime. So I didn't even know Jessie had an Arbok until I basically did the research. And so when people are more nostalgic over Jessie having an Arbok, I'm more nostalgic for her having a Surviper. It's like my own Arbok being the Surviper. So I kind of just meld to Surviper more than Arbok in that way. Ground. Ooh. I gotta give it to Flygon. Mainly more for the fact that it's just... There weren't any other good options. I'm trying to stay away from Legendaries. I've always felt like that. Flying. Uh, I shall go with um, Altaria. I've used Altaria before, especially in Auras, and I've enjoyed using its Mega. Mainly, <laughs> mainly because of just how funny the idea of is a Dragon type being immune to Dragon type moves. Psychic. Don't call me a sim for this, but. It's gotta be God, God of War. It's just—it's so much fun to use God of War now, and it's just for the fact that when you just try it for the first time, you don't regret it. And all those memes about people acting weird around it—you just forget about it, and you just enjoy using it. Bug. This is kind of a. This is kind of a really tricky one, isn't it? I gotta give it to Armado mainly because of how more menacing it looks compared to the other bug types. Steel, oh sorry, rock. I gotta give it, my, my, Agron is like my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon of all time. I, I can't deny that. I loved using uh, Agron. <laughs> right, the ghost type. For this one, it's got to be more for the fact that there I have a bit of a meme with some close friends of mine. For some reason, I decided to use a... Wait, while we were playing a ROM hack together, I decided to see if um, any of the old Auras shiny hunting methods were available, like the Dexnav, because this ROM hack had the Dexnav. So I was trying to do what I do with the Dexnav with Sableye, in which I was knocking them out over and over again. And now people were assuming that it was... um. Trying to make the saber life species extinct, <laughs> and it's more funny at these at this point. But it was just a real argument. <laughs> Dragon type. I want to give it to Latias. Now, for all those uh, Salamans loyalists, I need to say like it's a bit too generic. I'm gonna say that. And I know I just said something about not using legendaries, but I think I'm gonna make one or two exceptions. You'll see later on. But with Salamance, I don't get me wrong. I enjoy Lapras, and I really do like it. It's just Latias is a bit more unique design compared to it. All right, the Dark type, this easy one, Absol. Oh, it's it's just so cool, and it, as long as you know what you're doing with it, it can really work. Steel. I'm sorry, Magros. Magros all the way. Like, it's mainly just so I can put God of War and Magros on the same list, really. And I could have already done that with Fairy, but... Still, it, it, Psychic is the type you know God of War for originally, so... Fairy... 
I'll give it to Marwile. Like, this is mainly for its mega, because I've heard really bad things about how it is without its mega form. But it's just... I just love the dedication that an underdog such as Marwile manages to get into the OU tiers of competitive Pokemon, just from the buff of a mega. <laughs> I just love it. Starter, generate uh, mega septile all the way. Gimmick form. Alright, that's a bit tricky. I think I want to say either Mega Sceptile, Mega Agron, or Mega Mania Trick. Followed closely like me by Mega S Absol. Hmm. I might give it to Sceptile. Favorite legendary. Again, I gotta give it to Mega. I gotta give it to that, yes. And overall. Agron. Gen 4. Favorite normal type. This is gonna be a weird one, but. I wanna see Ambipalm. True, I've never used it, but. Other people find it ugly, but. I think that's kind of why I like it. It's kind of like defending it, really. Like, I, I don't see what's the pro problem of not liking a monkey with two tails. <laughs> so, like, next chance I get, I am planning to use it and see what it's all about. Fire type? Well, they really did limit things. Oh, yeah, you gotta give it to him for an I guess. Water? This is easy. I'm gonna go for Floatzel. When I was playing through uh, Shining Pearl, I uh, caught myself a Buizel and later Floatzel and named it Miles. Nice little Sonic reference there for the fact that it had two tails. <laughs> but yeah, there was this really funny thing where, like, with its animations where it looked like it was just being really <laughs> funny. Like, uh, if, you want, if you're curious, just look at BDSB Floatzel animations, you'll see what I mean. <sighs> but yeah, it was just generally funny. Grass, easy one. Torterra. Like, when I was going through the anime I was mentioning about Jeshi's Survivor, uh, I honestly grew up with Ash's Turtwig, and I just loved it, like, from its voice. Dead big! And just, it kind of upset me when the more it evolved, the worse it got. Because it did, was, it, honestly, it's a turtle that has an ecosystem on its back. That is such a clever design. Right, uh, back to electric types. I'm gonna go with Magnazone. This is down to experience for the fact of just how useful it is. Like, it, it's just no denying it. Like, Magnazone has just got so many uses to it. The steel type has so many resistances, and yet the electric type has so much offensive capabilities. It's, and it is actually kind of satisfying to own one, let alone use one. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mama Swine. I have to say it's Mama Swine. Uh, I don't think I need to get into any details about why you, everyone likes Mama Swine. I'm gonna go with Toxicroak for fighting. Like, it just feels more like more of a creative design, making it a, a kung fu fighting dart frog. And you can see it makes it work as like a ninja. I know it's supposed to be a bit more like street brawling, but I can see it more as a, a ninja than that. Poison? I'm gonna give this one to Rose Raid. Rose Raid is just so um, iconic again, really. Like, not meant. I haven't used it much, but the times I have, it is really shown to be quite useful. I just love the way his hands turn into bouquets of flowers. It makes you think he's like boxing gloves. Yeah, it's a <laughs> Ground. I'm gonna give this one to Rhyperia. This is more of the case of Ambipom, because a lot of people have been hating this, but I really don't see why. It just looks like 
a f motherfucking bulldozer, and it works so well to the point <laughs> where this just looks like the sort of person you'd love to be a bouncer. Flying, definitely my boy, Glide Score. There is a Glide Score in my 3DS save files. Oh, I'm actually getting into Bang now, my mistake. Called Frenzy. She can't wait to get into Scarlet and Violet in September. She's gonna wreck havoc. And I can't wait to see what happens. It's so useful. Bulky, high in attack, great abilities, good coverage. I am going to enjoy using this thing. And I always have been. Psychic? A bit random, but I'm going to say Bronzong. Mainly for the fact that it's so useful in environments. Particularly in the Trek Room environment. Though, personally myself, due to my experiences, I haven't really used it well. But I know it's very good at setting up Trick Room, so... Bug, easy, Yan Mega, I love Dragonflies, more for a personal reason if anything. But, again, Yan Mega is just so cool, and it's another one of those great Pokemon, like Yan Meg like uh, Gliscor, that I can't wait to use. Steel? That's rock, my mistake. <laughs> I'm gonna give this to Bastiodon based on design. Bastiodon's designs aren't really... Bastion's stats aren't the best at the moment. Or at all right now, but... But that, but yeah, just down to design, it's literally just... Well, Riparial's a bulldozer. This is literally a bulldozer. Or in this case, a castle wall, from what I've seen from Lost and Noggin. Right. Ghost. I want to give this... to Giratina. It's just that iconic of a legendary. The fact that you fight one of these in the endgame of Platinum. And that boss in Legends Arceus, man. Like, that was such a surprise. I loved it. And it's just risen Giratina up there for style above all else. Dragon. <sighs> Garchomp's gotten into that point recently where um, it's reached Charizard level over Hypens. But still, I've got personal reasons to say, yeah, I like it. It's just so iconic. And that scene where Cynthia one-shots all of Paul's Pokemon is just really funny. Right. Uh, Dark. I want to give this to Weavile. Uh, I can't really go into detail much, but it, I want to say, if anything, the design and the usefulness of it being a really fast glass cannon. Uh, moving on. Uh, steel. Ooh, I've already used up all the good steel types. Uh, I think I'll go with Lucario. I try and use it scarcely, scarce, but when I do use it, it is fun. I think I just... <laughs> it's like when you have a treat. Like You don't use it too much, but when you do use it, you enjoy it. Berry, Togekiss. I more or less mentioned what I mean by this with Togetic earlier. Star, Torterra. I'm noticing a trend. <laughs> I think I really do like the grass stars. Gimmick form. I'm gonna go with Mega Gallade. Mainly because of how much it upgrades the original form. Legendary. Giratina. Overall, Glide Score. Gen 5, my home region. Right. Favorite normal type. I'm gonna go with Stoutland. That scene in the Yellow anime is just heart wrenching. And along with that, it's just. Wow. Just. For such an early Pokemon, it is really strong. Fire. Chandler. 
It's just so... Like... You have to be there when you first realize what Chandelure becomes when you play it with the first time. Obviously we know now, but... Back in, um... 2011, when you first evolve it into that, you're stunned. You're stunned. Or at least when you first sh face it with Chantel in the Elite Four. Water. This is mainly for the fact this is my favorite starter from the Gen 5. Samurai. Samurai is just so cool. I, I don't care what people say, the whole thing where it's going on is all fours when it's a previous form, standing on two. Pick a lane, guys. Like, you complain when they go from four to two. Why do you complain when they go from two to four? Isn't that what you want? <laughs> Grass. I want to say superior, and it's mainly making me really excited to use it in the DLC in December, or well, in the winter time. More for the fact that I've seen how useful it can be, and I can't wait to use it in VGC. Electric type. I'm gonna give it to Garvantula here. It's mainly down to personal experience for, like. Kind of stuck to liking it instantly as soon as I found Joltik. Cause like when I went through for the first time, I just liked. I like, I can't really describe it, but I just really liked it. I don't think I can really say any more about it. Right, uh, Ice type. I'm gonna give this to Beretic. Now I, up up to recording this video, I haven't used a Beretic yet, so this is mainly down to design. And other people say it's kind of disgusting how the ice has gone around its face, as if uh, rep representing that cup choose like slush uh, snot went down its face. I kind of think of it as a beard, and it makes it look even more cool like that. So I do plan to use bear tick in the future, maybe the Gen 5 remix. Fighting. This is mainly due to obligations, but I gotta pick Embor here. Now. I'm not blind. I know that Embor is not really that good compared to the other fighting types or starters. But Embor was my first Pokemon ever. And funny story, <laughs> I kind of accidentally released it. <laughs> In some people's situations, you might actually say that's a good thing. But I was devastated. But when I did eventually figure out how the game worked, I kind of, well, I did like it for a bit. But then, like, over time I started to see that it could have been better. Like, imagine if this was an on f all fours warthog flaming fur and all that. That would have been cool. But yeah, I like Embor as a fighting type, but not as a fire type. Poison type? I'm going to give this to Garboder. Alright, put your pitch folks down. And again, I haven't used it again. Mainly because I haven't had a proper experience in Gen 5 for a while. But, um... The design has grown on me. Like, the idea of a sentient rubbish bag, or trash bag to you Americans, it just works for the environment with being set in an American region. Ground, I've got to give it to Golurk. Fun fact, Golurk was my first level 100 Pokemon. And <laughs> let's just say, uh, this was back when I still didn't understand stuff like abilities. It's like, I was wondering why Dynamic Punch was never hitting, because I heard it had Iron Fist. And to me, for some reason, I thought Iron Fist meant it always landed its punching moves. But no, it had Klutz. <laughs> right, uh, flying. <coughs> Sorry. I'll give this one to Sigilyph. This is down to the idea of how useful it can be. Uh, psychic, Air Slash, uh, Heat Wave, and maybe Calm Mind, you're set. It's a great flyer as well, even though it's a special attacker, but it's grown on me. Especially since the first few times that I played Black and White, I hated it because of how powerful N Sigilyph was. And I didn't figure out that Pig Knight was a fighting type. <laughs> I was pretty stupid. Psychic type. I'll go for Reuniclus. 
no, uh, Reuniclus has been become more of a recent favorite for me. Mainly because of one VGC experience I had. Where, uh, it managed to outstall a Corviknight. And if y'all know what VGC's, uh, standards are these days, it takes a lot to outstall a Corviknight. It even got to a point where my uh, Reuniclus was one health. And I was losing it. And it managed to outstall it, and I won the fight. So, above all else, Reuniclus has stolen the show for me. Bug. I've given this to Crustal. Silence, Dwebble, and Crustal. Iconic. Crustal overall, iconic. And I just love I just love Crustal. Rock. Gigalith easily. Baldor was my first ever wild encounter shiny. And I've still got it now. And I, na I named it Lucky when it happened. <laughs> For obvious reasons, but it was also because it was on holiday. Ghost. Kovagrigus easily. Kovagrigus is just such a clever design. Kofa I, I don't know what else I could say about Kovagrigus. It's just the fact that it's just a possessed tomb. The first ever Egyptian themed Pokemon. I, I, again, I'm lost for words for how good this can be. Dragon. I'm giving this to Haxorus. Haxorus was. Like, other people had the Miltank, other people had Kingdra. I had Haxorus. Especially when it came to Pokemon you struggled to beat. Every time I got to the 8th gym in black and white, I was terrified. Mainly because I forgot to bring an ice type, or I forgot what a dragon type was. But when I finally figured it out for the first time, I felt like a million pounds or dollars. And then when I used it myself, I saw what all the fuss was about. Hagsaras is amazing. Dark, high dragon. Before a certain uh, winged thing came along, uh, High Dragon used to be my all-time favorite Pokemon. I, I love how it's just so much like an amalgamation. Like, like myself when I first saw it, it looked like it had a snake's tail. It had uh, disintegrating bat wings and three heads of a lizard. I just thought it was a proper amalgamation. But now I know it's based on King Ghidorah from Godzilla, so it's still good. It's a shame that its evolution level is so high, I'd be using it a lot more. Steel. I'm giving this to Bisharp. This is mainly due to more recent experiences, for the fact that I used a King Gambit in Skull and Violet, and obviously that meant me using a Bisharp. Using the entire line, it was so fun. Very... Now, I know Whimsicott's the only choice here, but I've been really enjoying Whimsicott, mainly as a prank to set her in that Sun team I mentioned earlier with Torkoal. Starter, I'm going with Samurott. I mentioned earlier. <laughs> Gimmick form, I'll give it to Gigantamax Garbodor. It just works for the fact that it's basically a giant landfill. Legendary, I'm gonna give it to Reshiram. It was my first ever box art legendary, and it's just like as iconic as usual. Overall, oh, this is an extra tricky one. Oh, I think I've got to go with Haxorus. It, it just, it's there for me. Gen 6, here we go. Oof. Four to go. Alright, normal type. Ooh, this, oh. This is where all the Megas coming in at. Alright, just for argument's sake, I'm not gonna count Megas in this, because I've gotta count all the Gen 6 Pokemon for this, so. I think I'm gonna go with Bunnelby, not Diggersby. Diggersby's shit. Bunnelby for just, as a sub zero would say, such wasted potential. Fire. 
I'm actually going to say Delphox. I am not a Delphox hater. I just like the fact that it's more based on a wizard than a witch. And, like, well, if that was the theme, I can't really see how it can go on all fours. I'm sure there's probably some, like, fan art design where they've managed to make Delphox go on fours, but I just like how it's more of a, a wizard. Right, water. This isn't a really a competition, but I would want to mention Clawitzer. I've been using one recently, and it's been hitting like a semi train. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't need to mention anything about Greninja. Grass, go go, easily. Go go is just such a good design. It's useful as well. Bulky. S hits that thing up with Horn Leech and Milk Drink. That thing is not dying unless you hit it twice as hard. Electric, Heliolisk. Personal reasons, like. Heliolisk is just such an underrated Pokemon. It's criminal. Uh, Ice, Aurorus. Like I've been using Aurorus as well as uh, Cloitzer, and uh, the typing brings it down. It's just so useful. Like the special attack is just as good. It's so bulky, and Refrigerate just makes things so. I'm knocking things out with Round. Fighting. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Halucha. Um, it's slightly related to a certain per uh, Pokemon we'll see in a minute, but it had such a good bond with Halucha, and it kind of my likeness to that Pokemon kind of rubbed off to Halucha for the fact that it just had a nice brother bond in the anime, and in, in battle it's just really fun to use, <laughs> especially with its signature move, Flying Press. Poison. I guess Dragology, but it's still good. It's still good. Ground. This is the one thing where my hands are tied. I gotta go for Zygarde because I don't want to do anything with Diggersby. Flying. I'm gonna go. with Talonflame. It's mainly down for... It's... more of the case of... what took it so long? Because, like, a Fire Phoenix, even though it's more of a... Is it more of a Falcon? I think it's a Falcon. But yeah, it just seems like a... what took it so long thing. I just really like it. Psychic? I'm gonna give this to Malamar. Contrary, I love it. That's why I love Superior. I love it on Malamar. St stick that with Superpower and Psycho Cut, you're sorted. I'm just going to breeze for this quick. Uh, this is the form I usually get with Vivalon, so... But I, it's very useful early game, though. Rock. Tyrantrum. Easy. Dinosaur. Eh. <laughs> now this is an easy one. Ages Slash. Age... What? What else ha hasn't been said about Aegislash? It's, it's so bulky, yet so offensively massive. And it's just... The idea of a cursed sword and shield is just so clever. Now you know what we've been waiting for. My boy is here. Noivern. A bit of context. Noivern is actually my favorite Pokemon of all time. As I said earlier, my favorite animal is bats. My favorite mythological creature is a dragon. My favorite Pokemon type is dragon. This was a match made in heaven. Noivern is just the perfect Pokemon. In design wise, it is literally perfect. I literally lost it when I first saw it in that black and white episode teasing the Gen 6 Pokemon. 
I just love the fact that it makes sound from its ears. It's perfect. Perfect. Right to the m minute detail. This is my favorite Pokemon of all time. And nothing is ever going to change that. And I know it's not the most powerful Pokemon, but it can pack a punch when you know what to do with it. Dark. I'm giving this to Pangor due to the process of elimination. Still good to use though. Steel. Again, Klefki. Process of elimination. For Fairy, I'm going to give it to Sylveon. Mainly because it's like the face of the fairy type, so it's more fun to think of it that way. Starter. Ooh. Yeah, I'm actually going to say I like Delphox more than Greninja. I like them both, but it's more of those defending the haters sort of thing. Defending the hated. Gimmick design. Back to Mega Gengar, really. Legendary. I'll give it to Yveltal. Oh, sorry, Yaveltal. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to mention. Alola! I'm gonna give this one to Orangaroo. Because, like, I like the idea of a monkey monk. <laughs> monkey monk. <laughs> Right. I'm going to include form changes here because they're basically the new Pokemon, but with, with additions of the old ones added. I'm going to give this one to Salazzle. Salazzle is just so clever of a design, like a seductive lizard. And like, I, I, can't, I don't know what else to say about it really. <laughs> Water, I'm going to go with Primarina. I, I've been enjoying using Primarina more than Incineroar, at least. And yeah, there's no argument. I've got to go for Decidueye here. Electric. I'm going to go with Alolan Raichu. I, I've... Like, this was the best thing Pokemon could have done to Raichu. Like, Raichu is needed something like this to give it more spice. And yes, it's kind of undermining the the old version of Raichu, but... <laughs> There's no change. I just love Alolan Raichu. Ice. I'm gonna go for Alolan Ninetales again. Like, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with original Ninetales, but this was just a massive upgrade design-wise to Ninetales. And now it's a really good Ice Setter now. Well, I'll say Snow Setter now instead of Hail, because it, it's now called Snow. Fighting, I'm gonna give it to Komoto. It's not my favorite pseudo legendary, so there's a chance it might not show up there, but I do like the design overall. The fact that it's based on like a, a Hawaiian dance fighter, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Poison, I'm giving this to Alola Muck. Muck needed this upgrade. Like, I know I said that for the other two, and I'm not trying to sound like a broken record, but Alola Muck just looks cool, and as well as the dark typing as well. That really helped it. Ground. I'm giving this to Mudsdale. If you watched my stream the other day, you just, you hear me rant about Mudsdale. But I just love how it's based on a workhorse. Flying. I'm gonna give this to Oracorio. Specifically, it's Sensu form. I think that's what it's called. It just looks so graceful and finesque. And I, I've said it for other Pokemon now, but... If you know how to use it, it succeeds very well. I want to give the psychic taping to... Ooh. I don't know. Like a... I... I've already mentioned Oranguru and Oracorio. I hate Bruxish. I don't really want to include Tapalele. I'll give it Cosmog. It's such a cute Pokemon. It's a good MacGuffin idea, really. Bug types. I'll give it to Vigavolt straight away. Like, 
it it brought the first edition trend of the early bug Pokemon not being weak. And I loved it. And the fact that you could keep it for the entire journey was so good. Shame that Sun and Moon made it impossible to evolve it. And I thank Ultra Moon and, and Ultra Sun Ultra Moon for making it easier to do that. Rock. I'm giving it to Dusk Form Lycan Rock. I had one called Dusty in my first run of Ultra Moon. It was a nightmare to evolve, by the way. <laughs> but it was re really worth it. Tough Claws, a Cellar Rock. It sweeps. Anything that's not resisted to rock. Ghost. I'm giving this to Mimikyu. It's too iconic to not. I'm sorry. Dragon. I'm giving this one to Naganadal. I know for people who know me, I don't like wasps. Or bees or anything like that. Naganadal kind of makes it a bit better for that. I know it's supposed to be based on like an alien. And specifically, I think it's based on a xenomorph. But... I like it. I, I generally like it. Right, Dark. I'll give this to Incineroar for process of elimination again. Steel. I'll give this to Alone Sandshrew. I don't like it as much as Ninetales, but it was the first Alone form I tried to use. Fairy, I'm giving this to Comfey, mainly because of how I've been using it in um, Pokemon Unite. It really does work well as a good support Pokemon. Okay. Starter, I'm giving this to Primarina. No, sorry, uh, Decidueye, my mistake. Gimmick form. Ooh. I'll give this to Muck. Legendary, Lunala, straight away. Lunala is just awesome. And overall, I'm sorry, but I have to say a Lunala. Lunala is my favorite legendary. It's just so cool. Gen 8. We're almost there. <laughs> Normal. I'm going to give this to Ndidi. I, I think like, it's like a better version of Ordino, really. Like it, You can see that it is based on a butler and not just a servant. And it, it kind of benefits from that. Fire. Colossal. It's more of a better design than Cinderace, mainly because Cinderace just feels too generic for me. To a point where I don't really like it. I, I do not like Cinderace. Right, uh, so, a bit of context. When I was going through Sword and Shield for the first time, I picked Sobble. I kind of made a bit of a mistake with that, for the fact that I don't really like Intel Gun either, but it's a lot better than Cinderace. So, for this, I'm going to choose Sobble. Not Inteleon, Sobble. Because I liked where it started off, but it's like one of those fuck, go back, go back things. <laughs> Alright, Grass. Rillaboom. I really love Rillaboom. But if it wasn't for something that shows up later, this would be my favorite starter. Electric, I'm giving this to Toxtricity. I'm sorry for Bolton fans, but Bolton just seems so generic. But yeah, Toxtricity just really gets it for me. Ice. I'm giving this to Frostmoth. Like, I know it's weak, but I really didn't care. Like, it just. It, the design was that good when I first saw it. After I evolved it, I evolved a Snom. And the Snom memes are cool as well. <laughs> fighting. Oh, there were a lot of fighting types this gen, weren't there? I'm going to give this one to Phalanx because of how clever the idea was that it's not just a guy punching stuff. It, the fact it's a formation of an army. It, it, that's how clever it can get. There, so it's no confusion. Might even be... Yeah, there we go. Right. Poison, I'm giving this one to Galarian Slowbro. 
Slowbro was the first Pokemon to get a Mega and a Regional form. Like, we thought it was the case where if it got a Mega, it didn't get a Regional form. So it kind of broke a trend in that way, and I've always liked that sort of, like, concept. And it's basically... I, I've never really used it before, mainly because of how hard it's to get. But I do tend to use it soon. Ground, I'm gonna give this to Sandaconda. It's a nice, uh, concept for the fact that it's based on the Dust Devils, which is basically just a tornado covered in sand. And the, f <laughs> the fact that its nose is basically a double barrel shotgun. That works well as well. Right. Steel. No, sorry, that's lying. Easy one, this one is Corviknight. Like, Corviknight is just so cool. And I think it might be my favorite regional bird. Psychic. I think I'm gonna give this one to Harreen. For the fact that... It's... I don't want to say it's a better God of War, but... It kind of makes me feel like the God of War has a rival now. Not in the ways you think, by the way. But yeah, it's, I just like it. Like, there's, there's nothing else to say, I just like it. Bug, I might want to give this to Orbeetle. It's, bring, it's, it's bringing on the trend of making the first root Pokemon actually good to use. And I liked it. And I did attempt to make an Orbeetle T egg Pokemon card deck, but I still need to try and do that. <laughs> Rock, I'm gonna give this to... Ooh. This is mainly for de design purposes, but I'm not the worst hater of Stone Journer. The fact that it's based on Stonehenge is clever. The Nordic marks on its legs are clever. I just wish there was more added to it, though. Ghost, easy. Dragapult, all the way. Dragon, random one here, but my boy Duraludon. Duraludon is a boy. I, I so love using Duraludon. And Archeladon was a mind blow of a, a surprise, to be honest. Dark, I'm giving this to Obstagoon. This was mainly the reason why I didn't put it into normal, so there was no overlap. Obstagoon was exactly what Linoon needed. And now it's just as popular as any other evolution now. And I know Zigzagoon kind of was a bit more of a meme, that, uh, if anything, but as a HM slave. Not anymore. Like, Obstagoon fixed that for the Zigzagoon line. Steel. I want to say Berserker. Mainly because I've used up all the other good uh, steel types. But Berserk is just as good. Oh boy. Where have you come from? Um, right. Uh, fairy, I shall go with Grimmsnarl. For the fact that it breaks the trend of the fairy type where it's not all pretty and flowers. Starter, Rillaboom. Unique form. I've got to give this to Suing Gudra. I, this kind of gave me a love package thing, because back when regional forms came out, we were expecting all the older generation Pokemon to get it, but then when a Gen 6 and Gen 7 Pokemon got it, the idea was all bets are off. Every Pokemon could get something now. Legendary. I kind of want to say Spectria. I like the idea of the spooky horse. And favorite overall, my boy Duraludon. Uh, sorry, just checking something. And last but not least, Generation 9, the most recent one. Normal. Mm. I'm going to give this one to Grafai Eye. I, I used one in uh, my first run, and I named her Ink. It's really good. Not the strongest. But it just does the job. It does the job right. Fire. My boy! Skeledurge. Skeledurge, honestly, is my favorite, favorite fire type. 
My favorite star overall. It's so cool the fact that it's just a Mexican dead singer. It's so cool. Water. For this, I'm gonna give it Palafin. More for the idea of it. It's like s the better slacking, really. And it's gotten to the point. I need. To, I say that too much, don't I? And I really do prefer it of the other uh, marine Pokemon out there. Grass. Oh, they've added Polchai. Oh, hang on. They've added Diplin and Polchai Geist. That's cool. I think I'm gonna go with Toad Screw with this. For the fact that it was really useful during my run of Scarlet and Violet. Uh, its ability is not that good though. Only setback for that. I gotta give it to Killer Watch Roll. I'm sorry, but. There's nothing. There's no, there's no competition with that. It's just so use. And the fact that it's a special attack it was a surprise as well. Ice. I'm gonna give this to Titan. Titan was something like a mid for me when I first saw it. But then when I saw its pre-evolution, Citadel, and then when I saw it shiny, I said, "Yeah, I'll give it a go." I never looked back. Honestly, so Titan it might actually be my favorite ice type now. It's just so cool. Fighting, easy one. This annihilate, just what Primate needed. It's perfect. Again, perfect. Poison. I'm giving this to River Room. If you've seen my Scarlet run, you'll know about this, um Hot Shot, my uh, River Room. It was a bit meta at first when the fact that it took forever to evolve, but it definitely makes a run for its money. <laughs> run. Driving. <laughs> Ground. I feel like if I, I feel like if I don't pick this, I'll be executed, so I'll go for Claude's Eye. <laughs> Flying. Uh, I'll give it to Iron Jugulus, mainly because it's looking like High Dragon, so. Psychic. I'm giving this one to Farigaraf. I mentioned this about giraffe rig but yeah Farag Farigraph fixed giraffe rig for me bug I'm giving this a Rapska because I used one in um, my first run of violet called um, Osiris it's a lot it's very underrated in my opinion it's like a bug type version of reuniclus when it comes to stats anyway okay Garganical straight away easy for that one ghost I want to give this one to Sarah Ledge. <laughs> this is the sort of Pokemon I can see Shadow the Hedgehog using. Dragon typing? No joke. This might be a bit early to say this, but... I'm giving this to Archeladon. I know it's an evolution to Duraladon here, but... <laughs> what else can you say? Archeladon is so cool, and the fact they made it a suspension bridge? Perfect. Dark. King Gambit. Actually, no. Roaring Moon. Best Paradox Pokemon of all time. Steel, I'll go with King Gambit. As I said, I used one uh, during Violet. I named it Rook after the chess piece. It is really good. It, it lives up to its name as being like. Well, it doesn't have a reputation yet, but uh, you'll get what I mean. <laughs> Fairy type? I'm going to give this to Tingaton. And I understand that Tingaton's not that exactly that strong. When it comes to its... Uh, when it comes to that uh, physical attack stat, but... I don't think that's the point. I think it's supposed to be a... Um, a just a tank. Besides, I've managed to make strategies where it works. Just use skill swap on a Medicham. <laughs> Starter. Let's get a dodge. Easy. Uh, form. I'm going to give this to Polchai, guys. Form. Hmm. Uh, legendary, I mean, sorry. Uh, Moridon. Easy. Moridon. And I'm going to give this a skill dodge. Now, are you ready? Because I'm going to go through all these again. 
and I just highlight ev my favorite of every type until we finally get my favorite Pokemon of all time. I think you already know the answer. Normal. This is going to be Grafii to me. Fire. Skeledurge. Water. I'm going to make this Floatzel. Grass. Torterra. Electric. Jolteon. Ice. Titan. Fighting. Annihilate. Poison. Crobat. Ground. Rhyperior. Flying. Gliscor. Psychic. Reuniclus. Bug. Yanmega. Rock. Agron. Ghost. Dragapult. Dragon. Noivern. Dark. Obstagoon. Steel. Metagross. Fairy. Tinkerton. Starter. Skeledurge. Unique form. Mega Sceptile. Legendary. Lunala. And now, my favorite Pokemon of all time, by no surprise at all, Noivern. Now we'll go through this tiny nit bit down here, and we should be done. And let's move my head so I'm not in the way of it. And then when we're done, we'll uh, show a revealing. <laughs> okay, team. Skeletage for the starter. Gliscor. And Mega. Noivern. Metagross. And Jolteon. Perfect team, this. Favorite regional bird? Rookie D. Favorite regional mammal? A Glarian Zigzagoon. Favorite bug? Grubbin. Favorite pseudo legendary? Hmm. I'm gonna give this to. Dragonite. Pika Clone? I'm surprised Mimikyu counts, but I'll say Mimikyu. Evolution, Jolteon, Fossil, hmm. I'll give this to Aurorus for the design wise, Forum, Hisuian Gudra, Gigantamax, Toxtricity. Baby. Tugby. Box Legendary. Lunala. Mythical. Hmm. Oof. I don't think I had a favorite mythical. Um. Melmel. -Mel. Ultra Beast. Naganadal. Paradox. Roaring Moon. Type, Dragon, Pokeball, Ultra, Don't Care, Favorite Vivion. I'm gonna go for this one. Our Creamy, this one, and this one. Favorite New Evolution, Easy, Gliscor. And there we go, 
we have finished. And now, the reveal. And there we go. Every one of my favorite Pokemon through each category. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. And I, I definitely enjoyed making this. And I hope you guys can share your opinions on what was your favorite Pokemon. If anything, I'll even put the link of this into the description so you guys can give it an attempt as well. Alright, that's all for today. And uh, I hope you all have an amazing uh, day, evening, or afternoon. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.